Good morning, friends. Uh, today we'll discuss about a patient who, uh, who presented in our neuroclinic OPD yesterday. She was a 11-year-old girl who presented with the multiple episodes of uh, staring episodes and the behavioral arrest since uh, three to four years. Uh, so we examined the patient, but we didn't get any significant finding. So we made a differential diagnosis of uh, the absence seizure. It may be just a focal seizure with impaired awareness, or it may be just a uh, other paraxymal, non-seizure paraxymal event. So we requested her to undergo the EEG analysis, and we did the her EEG analysis. Okay. So in this EEG, uh, you can see here. Uh, so, if you are the beginners uh, in the EEG, uh, this FP1 is the frontopolar, F is the frontal, C uh, is the central, and O is occipital, and P is parietal, and CZ and PZ usually lies at the vertex. So, there are odd numbers and the even numbers here. This, uh, this one is FP1 and this is FP2. So, uh, usually odd numbers lie, uh, is located in, in the left side and L even number is located in the right side mean that the odd number electrode uh, read the EEG of the uh, left sided uh, left side of the brain and the even number read the uh, EEG of the right side of the brain okay so if when when, when we do the EEG uh, you can see like uh, some of the like you can see in the frontopolar region uh, in the right in the left as well as the right uh, so there is a there is a movement this may be this a robing movement robing movement of the eyes and uh, so the, the, the you can see the pre uh, prominent uh, alpha wave especially in the occipital and occipital region these are the prominent alpha wave uh, which is the uh, which is the best side to see the alpha wave and you can also see the EKG. So uh, when you do, these are the artifacts. You can notice here the artifacts. You can also see this is the eye movement. This is just an eye closure. Okay, these are, these are because of the eye closure, which is especially seen in the frontopolar. And these are the artifacts. So so you can see here. So when you are doing EEG, so there is staring episodes even in the patient. So uh, when you do the EEG. Uh, so there is sudden onset of this type of episode so so we can increase the sensitivity sensitivity up to the 30 so it will be more clear okay you can see here there are the sudden episodes of the uh, spike and the sharp wave so if we calculate for a one minute like from here to here there are one two three so this is a three hours um, sharp and this sharp wave and the sharp wave and some degree of slowing is also there so if the if you can see the uh, the three horse sharp and the spike wave then it is a classical for the absence uh, seizure and there is also the sudden offset as such, there is not much slowing after the uh, this episode of uh, of the seizure so 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 we uh, discuss about the easy finding of the absence uh, seizure. So this absence seizure is uh, more common in the uh, children, uh, but uh, like it, it is of different type. It may be the child uh, absent epilepsy or juvenile absent epilepsy or absence uh, epilepsy associated with the myoclonus. This child uh, associated absence epilepsy is uh, more common in between age 4 to 10 and uh, it, it peaks in around 5 to 7 years. Whereas juvenile onset uh, usually occurs in between 10 to 15 years. So uh, the uh, uh, to diagnose it, we usually need the EEG. And to treat these conditions, uh, there are few drugs that has been trialed like ethosuximide, valproate, and lamotrazine. Uh, valproate and ethosuximide is equally good, but the attention deficit uh, problem is more common with valproate. So the drug of choice for this condition is ethosuximide, especially in the children. But even you can use the valprate. So this is how we are supposed to manage a patient with absence epilepsy. But most of the time, when the age of the child increases, when they, then there can be the spontaneous resolution of this condition as well. 
Okay, this is all about the absence epilepsy. Thank you so much for your attention.